okay, you've done your drawing, you've stretched the paper, so go straight in with some raw sienna. Just creating a sun shape, just to highlight the trees. This is a wash of raw sienna also on the fields. to dry. Once this is dried, using a dry brush stroke technique, we can put some background trees in. Same mixture as your sky colour. Sorry, Stone. Allow that to drop. 
Once that has dried, you can turn your attention to the trees. This is just a mix of yellow ochre and burnt umber. Just want to put the trunk in at the moment. And the closer trees are a mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine. this on with the number one rigger and once you've done that once you've got the tree trunks in you can turn your attention to the bushes this is just a straightforward yellow ochre using my old beaten up brush Very quickly, just pat them in. Doesn't matter if the tree trunks bleed into it. Then after that, that's some burnt sienna. Just a variation. same time using a dark mix of ultramarine and burnt umber just add your fence posts then allow that to dry once you've allowed your bushes to mingle there, there and there, turn your board upside down and continue with the trees. I'll just do one, you can put as many branches in as you wish. Okay, you put all your branches in, you turn your rigger books on the side and come down with strokes around the tree to give the impression of foliage. Then once that is done, with a dark mix of burnt umber and ultramarine, you finish off your bushes. again using the old beat up brush just a few more then add a dark undertone so you burn umber an ultramarine mix so it almost looks black not too much on that one and take a damp brush and just soften off the bottom then leave that to dry once that has dried you can put in a few twigs using the number one rigger then re-wet all these ploughed furrows along the field then we'll strengthen them up with a mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine to make it dark brown
Sun. Drop in some really dark, which is your burnt umber and ultramarine mixed to a bluey black. And drop in on the top just to make them stand out. painting is completely dry we're going to add a quick wash of Elysian Crimson just to unify all the colours. You have to do this relatively quickly try not to disturb the paint you've already put on and I think that's finished all that's left for you to do now is to sign it, mount it and frame it. Thank you for watching.